Hey guys, welcome to the virtual home of all things l &B. Today, I'm going to be guiding you through these five festive cocktails to get you through the festive season. So first of all, we have the festive market Mary here, garnished with a pig in a blanket, not one of your siblings. Next, we have the espresso martini made with Kahlua. Third of all, we have a Christmassy cranberry whiskey sours, perfect to wake you up. Fourth, we're gonna go for the Cranberry Cosmo, made with a bit of ginger, just to spice things up a bit. Last but not least, we have the Elderflower Fizz for those who just love a Prosecco on Christmas Day. So guys, we're gonna start off with the Festive Market Mary here. You're gonna need a shaker, bit of ice in the shaker, and we're gonna start going for it. Start with 50 ml of vodka. I'm using Absolute, but any old vodka will do. Doesn't matter if you get a few extra drops. It's all gonna go down the same hole. We're gonna use the rule of eight, which I made up myself, using these three items here. So we've got the black pepper, eight twists, Tabasco, eight splashes. If you want it a bit fiery, always go for a bit more. Six, seven, eight. And then again, eight of the Worcestershire sauce. To finish off the mix, I'm gonna use some of the Big Tom tomato juice. We're gonna add 200 ml of the tomato juice to the mix. So I'll put the 125 in, and then I'll just eyeball it for the rest. Obviously we're at home, so it doesn't matter what we've got, anything to use, you can eyeball all of it if you really want to. Now we're going to assemble the Boston shaker and give it a good shake. Now, it's always good to get a good stance on the shaker. So make sure you're comfortable, ready to go, and give it a whirl. Any old glass at home will do. And like I say, it's all gonna go down the same way, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm also going to double strain it. So I'm gonna use one of these. Again, it really doesn't matter if you don't have these items at home, like so. You're gonna double strain. And the reason why we double strain is just to make sure that we keep all of the little grains and bits of ice in the sieve so that we get the best out of the drink. Now, I'm not going to put a celery stick in there. I'm just gonna garnish with a little bit of celery leaf, an extra sprinkle of pepper, and then I'm gonna garnish with a homemade pig in a blanket. And that is your Market Mary. Right guys, on to number two. I'm going to be showing you how to make our Kahlua espresso liqueur. Just for that little pick me up throughout the day. 150 ml of coffee. Um, you can just use instant at home if you want to. It doesn't really matter. It wasn't 150, it was 50 ml. That is the tequila talking. So we're gonna start off with one double espresso. Cool. <laughs> what is my problem? Right, this is absolutely not okay. So I'm gonna start off with a double shot espresso right now. Go straight in. And then I've measured out my uh, 150 ml of hot water already in the jug here that I'm gonna just pour in. 50 ml of Kahlua right here, which I swear by for an espresso martini. So much better than Tia Maria. But if that's what you've got, you can use it. Pop that one straight in. To finish off, before we give it a shake up, I've got some Monin vanilla syrup here. So I'm just gonna put a dash in. Put it all in the Boston shaker, give it a good shake up and go for it. Dance, give it a good shake up. If you can do a couple of cartwheels whilst you're doing it, you know, go for it. For this one, I'm not going to double sift because it's nice to get the froth at the end. Straight in there. As you can see, the froth is going straight to the top, which you want. To finish off, I'm going to use a couple of our coffee beans here just to place on the top. And there we go. This is number two, our Kahlua espresso liqueur. So we're gonna go on to the third one of the day, which is the cranberry whiskey sours, just to give it that festive touch for the day. This one does involve a lot of shaking. So just a top tip of mine, if you don't have a Boston shaker at home like this, you can just grab a small Tupperware box, fill it with ice, close the lid, and shake everything up together like that. You get just as much effect as you would from a Boston shaker. I'm going to start with 50 ml of whiskey. I'm going to use 50 ml of this straight in the shaker or the Tupperware box. 100 ml of cranberry juice, which I'm just going to chuck in there. There we go. 
I also have an egg white here. You don't need to have it. It's not 100% necessary, but it does give it that extra flavor and the froth on the top, which as we know, I love the froth on the top. Chuck that straight in. And last but not least, I'm going to chuck in some fresh lemon juice. 12.5 ml. I at home will probably do a little bit more just because I like mine a bit, you know, a bit more, a bit sour. We've got all the components in the Boston Shaker on the Tupperware box. So we're going to put it together and give it a good shake. really, really shake out that froth because it does add a lot to the drink. Now I'm going to finish by garnishing with an orange wheel on the side there. And there you have it. This is our Cranberry Whiskey Sours. Moving on, our Market Crimbo Cosmo. I'm going to start by using my prepared cranberry juice already here. This is 100 ml of cranberry juice that I'm popping in there. Then I'm going to add in 50 ml of orange vodka. Again, doesn't matter if you get a splash extra in there, it's Christmas. Now I'm going to use a bit of the Monin gingerbread syrup. If you don't have gingerbread syrup at home, you can just use a bit of fresh ginger, muddle it up with a bit of sugar water or something like that. So it's only 12.5 ml anyway. So pop a dash of that one in. And then just to finish off, I'm going to put a splash of lemon juice in my favorite thing at the moment. It's that time again with the Boston Shaker. Now this one's perfect. You know when it's ready because it's freezing your hands off. So this one's done. Now for this one, I'm going to single strain because again, we want to make the most out of the froth that comes on the top. Slowly strain that into the side of the glass, whatever one you have at home and give it a good shake out at the end. Pop on the side there for the perfect Garnish. And do you know what? If they don't stay on the side, they look equally as good in the bottom. Use the one I already had. Now, to finish it off, we are going to garnish with a glacé cherry. Bring it around just to the side there. And there you have it. Market Crimbo Cosmo. Right guys, this is the last, but not the least, of our fabulous five today. The Elderflower Gin Prosecco Fizz. We're going to start by adding 25 ml of Elderflower Syrup, 25 ml of Bombay Sapphire Gin. Add in. I'm gonna put a small dash of fresh lime juice. Perfect. Last but not least, I'm going to add in 75 ml of Prosecco, but, we do this at the end because if you do it now, you're going to shake the shaker and it's going to absolutely explode. For now, I'm going to shake what we've got in there and then add the Prosecco in at the end. I absolutely was not going to add the Prosecco in. It was just to make sure that you were all on the ball, all right? Using the one strainer, I'm going to strain the contents into the glass. And now, just to finish off, I'm going to add the Prosecco. Again, 75 ml. That's 50, that's 25. And there we have it. This is our Elderflower Gin Prosecco Fizz. Right guys, that's it. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Leave us a good old comment. And Merry Christmas. <laughs>